From KUNC and the NPR Network, this is In the NoCo. I'm Erin O'Toole. Summer in Northern Colorado means the return of an old school mode of transportation, a ride on the Fort Collins trolley. The green and yellow trolley car carries passengers down Mountain Avenue on weekends in the summer. Drivers and cyclists stop and wave at folks riding the trolley as it chugs past them. This season marks 40 years since the restored trolley began running again. But it was once a part of everyday life. In the early 1900s, a network of trolleys ran through the streets of Fort Collins until the increase in car ownership pushed the trolley into obsolescence. It stopped around 1951 until volunteers revived it about three decades later. The trolley's 2024 season is well underway. So today we're listening back to my conversation with conductor Kevin Mabry and his wife Kathy Mabry, who's a depot agent. We chatted about the joy of keeping this history alive. In those days, they would use the trolley because it's either walking or taking horse or horse and carriage, they was taking the trolley to go downtown and do business or do anything, get to school. I mean, to share that treasure with people nowadays is such a joy. I've also heard that, you know, maybe in the days before TV, you could just kind of park the kids. Well, we've heard stories, multiple stories, from actually people who've grown up in Fort Collins and said that they, on weekends, could even just get on the trolley and ride it all day and kind of be out of their parents' hair. For a nickel. For a nickel. That's a bargain. Yeah, it's a bargain. It was a bargain babysitter (laughs) is just to ride the trolley. Right. And it also was a transportation for the sugar beet factories that were out on Vine Drive. So So people would take the trolley. uh, To work back in the early days. There's also a line that went down right next to the old Fort Collins High School. And so a lot of people would take the, uh, use the trolley as their school bus. If the trolley is a beloved activity now, not everyone was on board with reviving it. Yeah, it was in the 70s and 80s. And there's a small group of people on Mountain Avenue that were really afraid of having the trolley run again on Mountain Avenue. And it's- What were they worried about? They were worried about that it was all of a sudden gonna turn Mountain Avenue into a Disneyland, into a, like a theme park. Um, And they were worried about people on the trolley peering into their houses worried about the trolley maybe losing um, their foundation on their house or... Well, we heard, we heard that one lady um, yes. said that the trolley uh, took the bubbles out of her bubble bath. So she was... I, I mean, we can't have that. <laughs> we can't have that. Um, they were also worried because uh, when the trolley initially stopped running in the 1950s, the city had planted about 70 some trees in the median and in order to relay the tracks those trees had to be moved a little further to the side and so they were very worried about uh, moving those trees and and losing those trees. In the end those were all moved by volunteer labor and uh, I think it was 77 trees were moved and only one didn't make it. But it changes hard, but I, I will give so much credit to the early volunteers that, that formed the, the Trolley Society in the, uh, I guess it was 1980 that the society actually formed and stuck with it and all the people who did a lot of work because it really is viewed as a treasure now. If you think the trolley is just a glimpse into everyday life a century ago, you have to hear some of the extraordinary bits of history connected to it. Okay, so I've heard just some wild stories in the past with the trolley cars, and I would love to know if they're true that a bear once rode the trolley. What what do you know about this? Well, we've heard from reliable sources um, passed down through oral tradition um, that one day 
the motorman was uh, opened the doors to let uh, the passengers on and was a little surprised when the first passenger got on followed by a trained bear um, and the bear uh, <laughs> took its seat. Um, I believe they paid full fare for it. Uh, and this was, of course, back back in the early days of the trolley. And uh, there was a circus at the city park, and the bear was part of the circus. And uh, so we, we had a bear ride the trolley. So I know there's a lot of stories dealing with the history of the trolley cars themselves, but what about the depot? Oh, that, thanks for asking. The depot is pretty cool. Originally, there was a depot at about Howes and Laurel for the Colorado and Southern. Um, it was kind of a gingerbready Victorian little um, little place that students could wait to be out of the elements for the train and. I can't remember what year it was, but the University of Colorado students came up and burned it down right before the CSU-CU football game. Whoa. And actually, what? they must have been caught because they ended up having to pay um, pay it back. So they ended up uh, building a a new depot, and it, it was squarer, not as gingerbready. Um, and so... When they ended up not using that line and the depot was no longer needed, it somehow ended up in somebody's horse pasture for years, for decades. And then kind of through serendipity, somebody was talking to somebody and said, oh, my neighbor has a, this old depot in the horse pasture. And they found it and brought it in and repainted it. And it has now been used as our depot. And the cool thing is that if you look at the window sills, you can see where the horses nawed on it um, and kind of tried to. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> yeah, and so. Oh, wow. um, and that's in City Park now? That's right over here in City Park, yeah, and that's where the you, you buy your tokens and, and souvenirs. Um, souvenirs and board the, the trolley. I know there's going to now be a lot of people in the depot, kind of like inspecting the windows. Yes, and yeah, you can look. You can even the you can see okay. them on the outside. Yep, <laughs> even when the depot's not open. Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite part of being a conductor? Oh, my favorite part is interacting with people, and just finding out maybe some of their history of why they come to Fort Collins to ride a trolley. And some grew up with trolleys. Some are, especially young kids, are just so enamored with trains. And they just love the trolley. And we have repeat riders that just, you know, every summer, it's got to ride the trolley again. And they just love it. And just to see the joy on their faces of riding a historic treasure, it's fun. Do you see the trolley? You can ride the Fort Collins trolley for yourself. It runs out of City Park on weekends and holidays through September. Be sure to check out our website for some cool historic photos of the trolley. That's at KUNC.org. And thank you to Kevin and Kathy for sharing their stories. That's it for us today here on In the NoCo. I'm Erin O'Toole. Thank you so much for listening. We'll be back with you next week. Have a great weekend.